As this is Mobin, we are talking about the respiratory system pathology. The lecture now is the lung abscesses. This is a common pathology in many, many diseases. So, it is important to understand what the lung abscesses are, what are the causes of the abscesses and then what are the complications of the abscesses and how do you clinically see an abscess. So, let us see. First of all, the causes of the abscesses. Aspiration is the most important cause and very, very uh, in the in the young patients. In the elderly, the most important ca cause is carcinomas or cancers. Now, aspiration could be for two reasons. One is the surgical procedures in which nasal or the oral flora may be pushed into the lung during the intubations or just simply when the patient is under anesthesia. Then the aspiration can be from the gastric uh, contents that can be aspirated and that is very common in patients who are one alcoholics and then patients who have epilepsy or patients who are who have some neuronal damage or nervous system damage that causes the gag reflexes to be uh, suppressed or miscoordinated. Also aspiration of the gastric content can occur in the uh, malnourished and debilitated patients who have generally the reflexes are, are suppressed in them or the reflexes are less, um, less efficient and their content can be aspirated. Aspiration happens in the healthy patients as well, but normally that does that is taken care of very easily. So now aspiration uh, brings in the oral flora in the lungs and in that flora the, the ones that are dangerous are staph. Uh, Staph aureus is dangerous, Klebsiella is dangerous, Pseudomonas is dangerous and so on. So, that these are the oral flora which Haemophilus influenza which when they go to the lung they can cause uh, aspiration, aspiration pneumonia and that can cause then the lung abscesses. Similarly, the gastric content, the acids from the gastric content when they would go in the lungs as well, they can cause irritation and cause local necrosis and tissue damage. So, we will talk about that pathology in a second over here. Let us look at the, uh, the causes first. Then bacterial pneumonia, so that is a normal thing, we have talked about it many times. In the bacterial pneumonia, of course, the staph aureus is more dangerous compared to strep pneumoniae and also mycobacterium tuberculosis, then uh, fungi of various kind can also cause aspiration, uh, sorry, uh, abscess. Bronchial obstruction is very important, so what happens is, when a part of the airway is obstructed, the distal part can then become converted into a, an abscess and over here the fluid and we have discussed this in, in length at length in the atelectasis and such diseases. So, distal part becomes filled with the fluid and that can become an abscess. There can be secondary infections that can become um, you know housed in this area and the destruction can occur and so this becomes an abscess. Another thing which is important in elderly is that if the and uh, for elderly if you see a elderly patient who has fluid air, air fluid levels in the x-ray or who has an abscess that you can see in the x-ray suspect or consider carcinoma as well it is important. So, in the elderly the carcinoma can obstruct the pathway and when that obstructs the pathway the fragments of the the fragments of the tumor and the bleeding can fill the distal part and that can also become an abscess guys thank you very much for watching this video make sure that you like and subscribe and if possible share it with your friends as well